The new agents of modern warfare hide behind lines of computer code. The governments say our vital infrastructure is increasingly under threat from cyber attack. Hackers acting for foreign governments and international terror groups even targeting the technology in our homes. But welcome to Britain's fight back and the imposing headquarters of the government's new cyber security centre. The hope, Britain as a global leader fighting hackers through using intelligence know-how to protect businesses. What we're trying to do here is uh, get some of that brilliant skill set out into business and industry so that we can help them to build the defences that they need, help them to manage incidents when they occur, making sure that the UK is the safest and most effective place to do digital business. The Cyber Security Centre say 60 Category 2, so less critical attacks like those on internet service providers, are attempted against the UK each month. Although we haven't faced the most serious attack yet, where personal details on a mass scale are compromised or serious threats to our infrastructure, decision makers say they're not complacent. What's really important is that we protect both our national security interests from those big attacks that we've seen and read about in other countries, but also that we make sure people are confident when they're shopping online, when they're working online, and so there's an awful lot we can do to protect people automatically from those basic crimes as well as from the top level attacks. Mustafa al-Bassam can speak with authority on the government's plans. As a former hacker who managed to infiltrate some of the biggest global corporations, he says this new body wouldn't have stopped him trying, but maybe succeeding. More and more of our devices and systems are being connected to the internet. We've got smart homes with smart fridges and smart washing machines, and now we've got more serious things being connected to the internet, like our power systems and power plants and water supply systems. So all of those things could have a serious consequence if they're not secured properly. Almost £2 billion has been invested to tackle cyber threats in the last year. The coordinated fight back against our adversaries is stepping up. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.